The ranking member for his five minutes. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Mr. Brown, why haven't you responded to our November 1st letter? Uh, Congressman, I'm not sure what letter you're referring to. The letter signed by 19 Republicans, 19 Repu all 19 Republicans on the House Judiciary Committee regarding the school board's issue. Why haven't you responded to that? Um, I believe the Congressman of the Department provided a response, but um, you know, as I said earlier, we, we did follow the AG's memorandum to convene such the a meeting. The department did not uh, provide a response. I'm just, the, the letter is addressed to the Honorable Nicholas W. Brown, U.S. Attorney, Western District of Washington, 700 Stewart Street, Suite 5220, Seattle, Washington, 98101. Is that your address? That is the office of the U.S. Attorney's Office. Yeah, and the Department of Justice acknowledged receipt of that letter. I'm just wondering, do you make a habit of not responding to members of Congress, and not just any members of Congress, these are 19 Republicans from the House Judiciary Committee, do you make a habit of not responding to people who inquire about a pretty darn important subject, the school board uh, memo issue? We try to be responsive to all of our community members and anyone who has questions about the decisions and operations that we Well, have. that sort of begs the question then, back to why haven't you responded then? If you try to make an effort to respond, why haven't you? Someone tell you not to respond? No, someone did not tell me not to respond. I understood that the department was going to provide a response, and I'm happy to have further conversations. Attorney General didn't tell you? The, the DAG didn't tell you not to respond? No, Congressman, they, no one directed me not to respond to that. Well, this is amazing. No one knows what happened here. 19 Republicans on the House Judiciary Committee, all the Republicans, inquire about a pretty important subject matter. We get no response. Earlier, when uh, the ranking member of the subcommittee, Mr. Biggs, asked you a question about this initial meeting, Remember the memo on October 4th from the Attorney General, he said this, I am directing the Federal Bureau of Investigation working with each United States attorney to convene meetings with federal, local, territorial leaders in each judicial district within 30 days of the issuance of this memorandum. I think your answer was you did have that initial meeting within that 30 days. Is that accurate? That is accurate. When was that meeting again? Uh, I don't have the specific date, Congressman. I believe it was in the first week of November. Did you follow up with people at the main justice, at the Department of Justice? Did you get back with the Attorney General or the Deputy Attorney General regarding what took place in that initial meeting? We communicated that we had the meeting. I don't think we provided any details about the meeting or participants. Have you had any subsequent meetings since that initial meeting in early November? Uh, I meet with my local and federal law enforcement partners on a regular basis, um, sometimes multiple times a week. Um, so we have not had any further specific meetings regarding the AG's memorandum, but I communicate and talk to my law enforcement partners. Wait, wait, wait. So you you had the initial meeting. You told the main justice we had the meeting, but you communicated nothing else to him, and you've had no subsequent meetings on that issue. Is that accurate? I have not had further meetings with the law enforcement partners about this well, that, board memorandum. Well, that shocks me because, I mean, th this, was the, this was the most important subject matter in the world back in October. The National School Board Association writes a letter to the Biden administration on September 29th, and literally five days later, we get a memo from the Attorney General directing you to have this meeting as if this was the most important subject matter on the planet, and you had one meeting, and all you told Maine Justice is we had that meeting, and you've had no subsequent meetings? Congressman, it certainly was not the most important issue for me as the United States Attorney. Sure was here in this town. Sure was in the state of Virginia. Well, I can only speak for me and my district and our priorities and addressing school board issues was not the most important issue facing my district. as. United well, States let me just Attorney. read the first sentence in the memo that went to you and the director of the FBI. The very first sentence in the October 4th memo from the Attorney General says, in recent months, there has been a disturbing spike in harassment, intimidation, and threats of violence against school administrators, board members, teachers, and staff. Have you prosecuted anyone in the last five months for threats of violence, harassment, or intimidation of school board members, administrators, teachers, and staff? No, we have not brought any such cases in my district. No prosecutions, no subsequent meetings, no communication with DOJ, but we were told this was the most important thing in history just a few months ago. Do you make any recommendations to DOJ about what should happen regarding the school board's issue? I did not, Congressman. Okay. Um, any, any people and in, any uh, individuals you know have a threat tag associated with their name? We got this... 
this email communication that went out to FBI um, agents around the country. And it said, as, as a result of the Attorney General's memo, the Counterterrorism Division and Criminal Divisions created a threat tag to track instances of uh, threats. Any, do you know about any threat tags put on parents or any individuals in your the Western District of Washington State? I'm not aware of any such tags. Gentleman's time has expired. Thank you, Madam Chair. I yield back.